Hey everyone, it's Joe Zayas, Urfan, all from the Autobay. We're on a team call here working through, we're working this media player, Urfan adapted from the V1 into using the Windows media player. And I was telling him, initially show them what you had there, Urfan, for the time, for the increase and decrease in volumes. This is what was initially there, right? And I told Urfan, I said, right, that makes I went sense. and made a, yeah, I went and made an update to be minus seven instead of minus five. And I said, this is a requirement. And I knew I, I was thinking I I knew Urfan would be like what, but I figured, I wasn't sure if Isaias would understand it or not. Um, I I think I understand the why, but that that wouldn't be the way that I go about it. <laughs> but yeah, well, it's a simple yeah. it's a simple way to take care of it. Yeah, exactly. But my question to you is, if you know, before I explain it, write it in the comments in this video and tell us right. why I would do that. This so, is a we'll very pause. fun one. I I I didn't get it at the beginning either. Like I was like, what the heck are you doing there? So. What it boils down to is I, I want I want more control than incrementing in fives, right? And like, because what I was doing, this, by the way, what's really cool about this is it increases and lowers the volume of just the media player, not your overall sound, right? So this will allow me while we're in Zoom, I can be listening to music and increase and decrease the volume of the music without affecting listening to these guys, right? Which is really awesome. Right. Um, but. I couldn't get on my stereo because it's pretty loud. Even a five is loud. So I needed to go below a five, but I would it'll go me down to zero. Right. So yeah. by not having these at equal intervals, I can I have to jump around a couple of times, right? I go up and down but a couple of times. Getting... But it yeah, it moves around a bit. Yeah. So it seems crazy, but I I implemented this and I've told told our friend, like I've used this, the other, the V1 version of this thing. For like yeah. the last 13 years easily, like right. every day. Every day I'm at a computer, I'm using this script. And it didn't dawn on me <laughs> until the other day we were talking about something with, with I'm like, hey, we should, oh yeah, that folder select option. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm like, hey, let's let's convert this to V2. And then now we're adding actually um we're still working on it, but the uh we use our notify class to display like what's if you want it, what song you're listening to, what the artist is. Um, it's pretty cool. And probably now you can use the, the the notify class to if you click on that notification, it opens the folder where that whole song song is. We we have so a hotkey cool. to open the folder. Um, but you could do, just do it on that's the a good point. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, the notify it itself. Yeah, yeah. Do that. But yeah, it's now, um. No, I was gonna say so. The the difference in the two of them is to create the in between number. So if you step right. by five two times and then decrease one by seven, now you get a three. And if you do another plus five, now you've got an eight because now you're in, in the different intervals, right? Right. Now, my my question to you would be like, and this is the, the difference, like I understand why you're trying to do this. Now, if plus five is too loud, then that means that the percentage that you're using is too much. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to take forever to be able to jump to get to a hundred if I want to crank up the tunes. Then I would have a different hotkey that would go by ten. So that's why I said I we can a add a second hotkey. Yeah. Right. But, yeah. But this works. It, it, right, it's surprising. It, it works. <laughs> it it works better than you'd expect. Let's put it that way. Like it, <laughs> you would think like it'd be annoying, but it, it really isn't. It's not that right. often I'm going to do it. Yeah. yeah and and what I've realized when I want the music lower. I want it fast. I don't want it slow. But when I want to increase the volume, I don't mind hitting you want it. it. But right, okay. Yeah, it's much more important for me to very quickly turn off the music, or to, I hit the pause key also because that works to just pause it. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I I am understanding now that the the um, the way how this is working. <laughs> yeah, and like <laughs> I said, as you say, if I if I as a programmer oh, yeah. look at that, I'm gonna be like, what the heck is that number? It's, there? it's totally crazy. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> when you look at it, you're like, this guy's an idiot. Um, <laughs> but it but it works. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll release this thing pretty soon. Uh, maybe we'll just wait for the video to be uh, to release it before, so it'll be available. But yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty awesome. It remembers the folder you were on last. Um, it. It remembers the volume setting. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a fun, interesting thing for me of like, yeah, it's not something you'd expect. So cheers.